Hey everyone, and good morning, it's Uncle Zunky here, so I had something to show you. First of all, yes, this is going to be a divination vlog because, well, I haven't been playing very much recently, and uh, when I have been playing, I've been training divination, so this is about all I have to record, but um, I promise I'll do something else tomorrow. It won't be another divination video. It'll be something else. But anyway, I have something pretty cool to show you guys, so I know I'm probably way behind most of you when it comes to Divination XP, but there is a level 50, so I'm pretty happy about that. That means I can move on to the next area, and uh, before, I can before I forget, I also want to uh, make my boon, so that means I'll get more XP in the next area. So, for something, something some of you guys may not know, um, the boons don't actually give bonus XP to all of Divination, they just give bonus XP to the next area that you um, train in. So, I'm sure most people know that already, but just for the few that don't, there you go. But I've also been um, saving these energies. I've been saving these energies that I've been getting. So, um, let's see. If I go to my resources tab, which is here, I have like 3k sparkling energy, 1.5k glowing energy, and uh, 600 bright energy. And I believe the best way to get to the next divination spot is it's really close to the nature altar, I believe. So I'll teleport there with a wicked hood. Um, but yeah, I've been saving these because I could sell them. I suppose. Uh, I don't think these lower tier kind of energies are selling for very much right now, so I may start selling the energies once I get to a higher level, but um, I believe these are also going to be used when the next skill comes out, and I know the next skill isn't coming out for months, but um, the GE limit on these things is only 100 every 4 hours, so it's really hard to actually buy them, so I figured I'd just save these. Um, I don't need the money all that bad anyway, because I have a fair amount. But it looks like the uh, divination spot that I'm going to is right to the northeast of the nature altar, so that's where I'm going to be heading next. And uh, as I've heard, it does get quite a bit faster um, once you get to this next spot. Um, apparently it's the fastest jump in XP uh, between levels so far, which does really help a lot. So maybe around... oh, that was the wrong option on the wicked head. Um, maybe this is going to be around, I don't know, 40k XP an hour or something like that, probably that might be a little too much to expect, but I'm hoping it doesn't take too long to get to 60. It seems like um, there haven't been a whole lot of other people that are have been training as slow as me, if that makes sense, because um, the level 50 divination spot was you know fairly empty compared to what it was yesterday, um, and this one looks quite a bit more crowded, so I'm guessing that uh, for the most part people are really starting to move up to the higher tier stuff. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few people here. So, um, I'm now getting 6 XP for harvesting the uh, regular memories, and 12 XP for har harvesting the enriched, so that's not bad. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to be training here, I suppose, um, for quite a while. I'm not going to be taking much of a break from divination, um, other than to do a few things. Like, I do ports every day, and I do like my daily dungeoneering challenge, um, and, that's, and I also do a farm run every day, but that's about it. I've heard you can also get uh, new challenges for the divination skill. I haven't gotten a daily challenge in divination yet, and I don't really want to get one. I'd much rather get a um, a dungeoneering challenge. But apparently you can get those, so those might help out a bit uh, with XP as well, although I've heard they're very bad XP. Uh, any XP to make this skill go a bit faster is definitely going to help. Um, so anyway, I'm going to try to get up to level 60. It might take me a few days just because, as I said earlier, I haven't been playing very much. Um, the reason behind that is mostly work and, I guess, lack of motivation to be on the PC when it's late and I'm tired. Um, I do still want to play RS, but like in the morning when I'm you know, still awake and stuff, um, I'll get on. But at night when I come home from work, I'm really exhausted, so I'd much rather just like lay in bed and watch TV or whatever. Um, and I don't really want to play RS all that bad. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing for the most part. And I guess I can probably make like a farming vlog or an engineering vlog or something like that instead of just making boring old regular um, divination vlogs. Because everyone's training this skill themselves in games, so they probably don't want to see more of it in a video. But anyway, I'm getting 21 XP for these Gleaming Memories, so that's not bad at all. And we'll see how much XP the Enriched give in a second. Um, I'm pretty excited to actually like get to a higher level in this skill, because I've heard it does get quite a bit faster. Um, apparently at level 70, no one has reached level 80 yet, so we don't know what the uh, level 80 tier um, memories that you harvest, what kind of XP they will give. 
but at level 70 apparently it's about 70k XP per hour so it looks like it's not going to be as slow as I expected it's still going to be a slow skill but um, it possibly might get up to about you know 100 110 K per hour so around C2 fishing uh, level of quickness I guess you could call it um, and here's an enriched spring so I'm pretty happy about that um, these enriched springs pop up like every 10 to 15 minutes or something like that and they only give enriched obviously so they're really really good for XP but if you're not training divination yourself then I hope that you aren't a maxed player already because uh, I know one maxed player personally on my friends list that even after the release of Divination, instead of getting his max gate back, he's in Verrock cutting Ivy, and that doesn't really make any sense to me. But um, me personally, I'm just going to keep going with Divination until 99. It will, by the speed of this, it's probably going to take me uh, at least three weeks or so to get 99, even though I'm only focusing on this skill and really not doing anything else. Um, but that's just the fact of the matter because I don't have as much time to play as I'd like to. I would definitely like to play RS more than I have been, but um, that's just the way that life goes. Also, as soon as I get to, I would say, a fairly high level in Divination, not all the way to 99 because I don't want to wait that long, but once I get to, I would say, probably about level 80 or so, I will make like a 1 to 99 skill guide as well even though there's not really a whole lot to this skill which is something I'm really not happy about but we're not going to go into that right now um, but I will be making a 1 to 99 skill guide as well to just help anyone out that um, is still fairly new to the skill itself and doesn't know all the best trading methods and stuff um, so that's what I'm going to be doing but uh, until I myself know a lot more about this skill I'm not going to um, make a guide yet because I just feel like um, that wouldn't be the best thing to do for me to make a guide when I don't know a whole lot about the skill myself. But so far this seems to be going really fast, uh, much much faster than the level 40 area. Um, already got 2k XP and I just barely got here so this might be fairly fast XP, 30 maybe even 40k XP per hour. Um, but anyway that's about all for this video. Thanks for watching guys. I'm sorry it's another divination vlog. I'll try to make some other type of video tomorrow. Um, if you would like to see a farming vlog or an engineering vlog, um, that's about all everything, the only other things I've been doing in game. Um, so if you're interested in that, just let me know. But for now, uh, that's all. And farewell.